John Zogby, uh, standing by right now on the line. A lot of uh, interesting stuff happening out there. One of which um, is something the president will be able to say, I told you so. No criminality. John Zogby, good morning. What do we know on this one? Uh, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what specifically are you referring to? Well, uh, it's, uh, the attorneys uh, for uh, for the president have, have said, and it has been leaked out, this would be a, an acceptable leak, I guess, mm-hmm. uh, that Robert Mueller has had contact with them, saying that the president is still under investigation, but it is not a criminal investigation at this point. Yeah, and, and this the, these are the dangers of, of leaking out, whether it's grand jury investigations or special prosecutor investigations that come out in dribs and drabs especially coming out from some media that that have an axe to grind against the president and the public just sort of has to back off and take it with a grain of salt yeah. and i think by and large they do we do take it with a, with a, a grain of salt unless uh, we ourselves on either side have a, an axe to grind you know i i think all in all, it can be said that Mueller is doing a thorough job and leaving no stone unturned. But to rush to judgment, uh, as has been done, that the president is nailed, that the president is, is in real trouble uh, over parts of this investigation, could very well have been premature. I, I do, um, you know, and I, I get criticized uh, for this, but I, I say you got to let Mueller do his job. And... Mm-hmm. and I be be careful. I mean, those that are anti President Trump should be careful. You don't know what's going to come out of this. Uh, what results? Who he will find? What he will uncover? You just don't know. You don't know. And in very practical purposes, uh, for bra- very practical purposes, those who are uh, who really hate um, the the president have to be very very cautious because. He is an anti-establishment character, and he thrives on it. And when it appears that uh, there is bullying going on, um, uh, that's the sort of thing that drives his numbers up. We're living in that moment right now. You know, he's at about 44, 45 percent. Isn't great, but uh, it's enough to allow him to govern and actually to bully his party a bit. Uh, Rasmussen, the Rasmussen poll shows the president at fifty percent. What's mm-hmm. what's your thoughts on what are your thoughts on that? My, my polls have always closely aligned with with Rasmussen, mainly because we include uh, more meaning and adequate representation of Republicans and conservatives um, in our samples. You know, back when Rasmussen was was Scott Rasmussen, he and I would chat all the time. Um, and in fact, he had indicated to me in a, uh, a number of instances that I was a role model for him because he always appreciated the fact that personally I was a Democrat, but when I would see other polls like CBS and Gallup and so on underrepresenting Republicans in their sample, uh, we both, could, or Scott and I, would conclude this just isn't America. You know, this. Um, uh, for some reason, these other polls just do not include enough Republicans in their sample. So the Rasmussen poll does, um, and hence it's an outlier, but its numbers, I think, are closer to reality. John, two weeks ago when we talked to you, maybe it was three, you were the first one to get on this and, and, and note that the president's numbers were increasing uh, mm-hmm. beyond what any other poll was saying. Here's my question. There's there's forever Trumper and there's never Trumper. Mm-hmm. Who are the new people that are building this uh, approval rating for the president? They're not new people. They're the some of his base that uh, that had left him coming mm-hmm. back. Well, essentially, he is solidifying his base. So, figure he's got thirty six to thirty eight percent that are rock solid. They're the ones that the president described during the campaign. I can go out in the middle of Fifth Avenue and, yeah, and yeah. kill somebody. All right, where do the others come from? Those are uh, folks that aren't enamored with the Democratic Party, but have serious questions about Donald Trump. But if push comes to shove, they can back the president, because at any given moment they may have a bit more antipathy f- towards the Democrats. Mm-hmm. These are the people that... Um, uh, six, seven, eight percent. They're the ones that 
ultimately voted for him against Hillary, mainly because it was against Hillary. I, I do think there's that uh, that crowd that uh, last Friday got very, uh, they're done with Trump. Done with Trump. Uh, when when he when he voted and signed that budget bill to uh, to yep. to move the government forward, he should have shut things down. He funded Planned Parenthood. I'm done with him. And my answer to uh, one of my friends was, "Oh come on, um, he will believe me. Where else are you going?" That's uh, the question. That is the problem, right? That that is the question. Where else are you going? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I want to switch to, um, uh, and I know you only have a second here. I want to switch to the 22nd congressional race. Uh, yesterday, yep. the, uh, the Democratic Committee uh, put out some polling that showed uh, Anthony Brindisi up 50 to 44 percent in the head-to-head campaign in a district that is uh, that has more Republicans than uh, Democrats. So I'd like you to break this down. Mm-hmm. Um, this is what they're saying. Polling conducted between March 8th and the 12th. Uh, with a sample of roughly 400 voters or more, and combines internal uh, DCCC and campaign polling, along with publicly released polls. It consists of live calls to landlines and cell phones. I always don't, I, I tend to not put too much credence into polling done by the party. I want your take on it. Um, <clears throat> all right. It's an even race. Um, and, uh, uh, a slight edge to Anthony Brindisi simply because um, the the anti-Trump, um, anti-Tenney forces are gelling, and he's able to consolidate not only say whatever liberal progressive base there is here, and and it is substantial, but it also is a moderate um, independent district. To see him at around fifty percent does not surprise me at all. Uh, Claudia Tenney, let's say she's in the low 40s or 44%. Remember, she got elected uh, with about 46, 47% uh, almost two years ago. It means that she has lost some of her base of, uh, of, of, of support. Why? Uh, because this all, even though Donald Trump won this district, this is not your prototypical Donald Trump conservative right. uh, district. Well, and, and interestingly, uh, Trump won by what? It was double digits. Uh, yeah. Claudia and Tenney a lot won of by anti Hillary. Claudia won by, uh, I believe it was six points. So yes. um, that's uh, pretty telling right there. Interesting. All right, John, uh, always great to talk to you. We appreciate it greatly. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. You too, Bill. John Zogby from uh, Zogby Analytics.